so welcome back to Art Fantastic and on part two on how to draw uh, just a normal nerdy cat. Before we start, um, I'm kind of going to use some watercolours just because I can blend the colours a bit better then. And for that you will need your palette. If you haven't got a palette then and you've only got paints then you can use the paint but just water it down and it will make it into watercolours. Then I'd advise you to have like a piece of paper so you can test out like I have here and then a tissue but I usually like scrunch it just because it's easier this is to wipe your paintbrush sometimes if it's too wet or even your page and then don't forget your rubber because we'll be needing that as well so let's go what I'm going to do before painting is actually rub off some of our markings that we did just so it doesn't paint over the pencil because we don't want to be able to see the pencil we we want it just to go over the top and then we won't be able to rub it off if we don't rub it off now so these are the markings here I'm just gonna rub off lightly I can still see them but it's just just enough so I can see them a little bit so you probably can't see them but I can see them right now so I'm going to start with this one and then I will move on. I'm also going to rub off these ones which aren't the same colour but they're going to be next to it so they might get wet. And the same with this. Okay, I also added these dots in the eyes as well if you were wondering because I didn't do that in part one. Okay, so the colours that I'll be using is this color right here and to get that color you want to mix the gray the brown and these two colors so for example I'll just show you so you get some water we could put it here so it's near us you go the gray the brown back to the gray this one that one and this one and then you put it on your page and you get that color so as you can see I put a little bit too much water so I'm going to do it again you need a grey, the brown, yellow and that one and it does the beigey sort of colour and that's what you want to do Okay, so before I continue, um, I would advise you not to rub everything off right now. I would advise you just to rub off as you go, so then you won't forget where all the bits and pieces are. Once it has dried out, you could probably hardly see this on camera, but once it has dry out, dried out, you go in for a second coat, 
um, just to build it up but make sure you wait until it dries otherwise it won't look it won't look very nice if it's on top of each other I've rubbed out the eyes because this is what we're going to do next and I'm going to kind of do greeny sort of eyes for him um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wet it and I've got this really small one and I'm just going to get like a green color and then I'm just going to use that for the eyes Okay, so now we have done the eyes, which we've not finished, we're still going to add some colour in it. Um, I'm going to start with some of the shades around the face. Okay, so what you want to do for the next part is you want to get some black and some brown. And make sure you test it first so it's not too dark. We want it more brown than, than black. And then make sure you water it down a bit so it's not too much. Okay, so water down your paintbrush, grab a bit of brown, and then you put it on its face. You don't want to start too brown for the beginning, you just want it to blend quite nicely. If you mess it up, you can always correct it by putting some more water on it and it will just blend into the paper. We just want to add a little bit of shading, not too much, but just a little bit. now you have done all of your shading there is some to do at the top it's about here 
So what you want to do is you want to do the same sort of colour as this, but slightly darker. So it's more towards a black, uh, more than anything. And then what you do is you just make it go up like this. Make sure you like move your hand like this, because it will look like hair then instead of lines. Okay, that's one side done, so let's do the other side now. Okay, so I've finished all of the markings and I decided to do them all the way down and do quite a few of them like a tabby cat because it, I just thought it'd look better. So that's how I've changed it. You can do it that way or not. It's up to you. And now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing the inside here but not the hair. So we're just going to slightly rub off gently the hair. And we're going to add in this other colour. And the colour is like a purpley sort of colour. But not either. It's just to add a little bit of shade. You want to mix it with the yellow a little bit. So I'm just going to get some water. And do that right now. Okay, so now for the bow tie, I'm going to do it purple and pink because she's a girl. Um, and, you know, so I'm just going to do it purple. You can do it whatever colour you want. I mean, you can, um, it's really up to you because it's your drawing. Okay, so now what we're going to be doing is the nose whilst this dries because we still have to put another coat on. So the nose is going to be like a browny, pinky colour, just because that's how my cat's nose is. And it's going to be like this colour, right here. So. drying so the bow tie and the nose we can start by doing the glasses and the eyeball and everything so the glasses are going to be in black and so is the eyeball so everything that I'm going to do black I'll just show you okay so I'm going to start by doing the eye first
Okay, so I've done the glasses, but I'm still going to do a second coat on it just like the bow tie. But whilst it's drying, I'm going to put the white on. And I know what you're probably wondering is why you're putting white on white. But it's just so it comes out more and it looks more fresh than, you know, than not. <laughs> okay, so for this I'm not using the palette, I'm using white paint just because it's going to show more. And I'm going to do this, this, and also this. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so I'm going back in with the ginger, a little bit, well, brownie ginger, just to go over some bits so it blends in a little bit more with the white. And it looks more natural. That way the white won't look as blocky, it will look a bit more uh, with it. Okay, so as you can see, I've done all of the white, and I've used the white paint so it stands out more, and make sure you, like, make things a bit more fluffier, so the ears and the face near the mouth, make sure it's all fluffy. And what I'm going to do now to finish it up is I'm going to do the black around the eyes, because I haven't done that yet, but I'm also going to go over everything, like the glasses to make the black deeper, the nose and the bow tie and also the the dots on the bow tie and that will just give it a different sort of colour I haven't done that already because when you do watercolours it's better to let things dry first instead of keep putting the layer on otherwise it won't work and it will make the paper too wet so that's what I'm going to do now Okay, so as you can see, I've decided to add some lines, just because it makes it look more natural. And don't forget to wait till the layer before has dried before adding another one. Because I've done like, I've waited that it's dried and then I did another one and then I waited again and then I did another one. Just so you're not being like, you're not making the, the paper all... Uh, soggy and wet and that's how you're going to get your colours okay so as you can see I've just done the eyes well I've just finished them 
and I've added this white dot inside it just so it looks like the light has hit the eyes a bit it looks kinda nice and the easiest way to do it is to get the back of a paintbrush and then some white paint and then you just dip it in like this and just make sure you cover it all and then you just put it on your paper and it just creates this and if you have done continued and done the spots on the uh, the dot on the bow tie then you can do the same thing I decided not to do it in the end because I just I just didn't want to so as you can see also with the bow tie I've added these lines and these shades just to make it look a little bit more realistic and also I've added it at the sides here just so you can see the middle part a bit more then we have the nose if you can see with the nose I've added like a Y in the middle and this is just like the dent like the cats have in their nose and I just used a brown to uh, do that shade but if you've done like the nose pink for example then just use like a dark pink to do the Y in the middle and then don't forget if you have done any mistakes and you think oh I've completely budged it up now it's a mess then don't forget that you can use white paint and then put the color on top afterwards because I did that with this one I messed it up a bit but then I used the white paint and then I added the black and then the green and it worked perfectly so don't forget you can do that also so I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you had just as much fun drawing it as I did don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel also don't forget to put in the comment section what you would like me to draw for you next week thanks for watching bye